Welcome back dear students. Uh, so we are doing chapter 21 trigonometrical identities and we are dealing with the first exercise that is 21a. Okay so in today's class we'll try to cover up or we'll try to finish this particular exercise but here you'll find that I will not be covering the entire sums but I'll cover only few sums and the rest of the problems should be done by you okay so uh, i leave that work to you and let me begin with the first question for the day which says prove what we need to prove that tan square a minus tan square b is equal to sine square a minus sine sine b divided by cos square a divided by cos square b okay so let's see now we have in the left hand side tan square a minus tan square b right now, if you see in the right hand side, we have only sine and cos, isn't it? So that's why let's convert them, that is tan square A and tan square B into sine and cos using this formula. Okay, so we have tan square A is sine square A by cos square A and similarly tan square B is sine square B by cos square B. Now let's find the LCM. Okay, so when you find the LCM, you get cos square A, cos square B. Now divide this LCM by cos square A. So you know cos square a and cos square a, they will get cancelled. So you get only cos square b, isn't it? Now multiply cos square b with sin square b. You, I'm sorry, sin square a, you get sin square a cos square b minus divide this LCM by cos square b. So you see cos square b and cos square b gets cancelled. So you get cos square a. So cos square a into sin square b is sin square b cos square a. Okay, now see. In the numerator, we don't have cos, isn't it? So that's why what am I doing is I am writing this cos square b as 1 minus sin square b using this particular formula. Okay, now similarly, here also instead of cos square a, I have written 1 minus sin square a. Okay, now open up the bracket. So sin, I'm sorry, this is sin squared. Okay, there's a mistake here. So this is sin squared, is there? No, so this is also sin squared. Okay. So sine square a into 1 is sine square a minus sine square a into sine square b is sine square a sine square b minus sine square b into 1 is sine square b minus into minuses plus so sine square b into sine square a is sine square a sine square b. Now if you observe here these two gets cancelled isn't it? So that's why you get your answer to be sine square a minus what is there? Sine square b. I'm so sorry guys, there is a mistake again. It's uh, my typing mistake. So here we have square, isn't it? But here I have not written square. You have to write square, okay? Similarly, here also you have to write square. All right. So that means we got this equals to this, isn't it? So this is my right hand side. So you may pause the video and note down the solution. Okay, let's have a look at this question now. I'm taking question number 34. So prove. So let's begin with the left hand side. Okay, so in the numerator, is there anything common? Here we have sine a, here we have sine cube a. That means in numerator, we have sine a is common. Similarly, in the denominator, we have cos cube a. Here we have cos a. That is, in the denominator, we have cos a as the common. So if I take sine a from here, you get sine a is gone. So you get 1 minus to sine cube. So one sine is gone. So you get only sine square a here. Similarly, the same happens with the denominator. When you take cos a outside, you get here two cos square a. Okay. And since this is gone, only one is left. Okay. Now, can I write this one? This one is there, isn't it? Can I write this one as sine square theta plus cos square theta? That is here theta is a. That is, can I write this as sine square a plus cos square a? Yes, this can be done. And we have minus 2 sin square a. Okay, so 2 cos square a is there, right? Now, instead of 1, again, I'm writing sin square a minus sin square a plus cos square a. But because of this minus, this plus also becomes minus. Okay, so that's why here we have minus. Okay, so sin square a minus cos square a. I hope this thing is clear to you. Okay, now, what you can do here is you see that here also we have sin square a, here also we have sin square a, yes, but here we have 2, okay. So 
2 sin square a and sin square a. So both of them have different sign. This has minus and this has plus. So they will get subtracted. So your your answer will be, see here, sin square a minus 2 sin square a will be minus sin square a. So in the numerator you get cos square a minus sin square a. So you have, see here carefully, 2 cos square a minus cos square a, which is again cos square a. And we have minus sin square a. Now if you see here carefully, aren't they the same thing? Yes. So they will get cancelled with each other. So what is left here? Sin a by cos a. Now as per this formula, what will be sin a by cos a? Sin a by cos a will be tan a. Okay. And that's what we wanted to show here. So you may pause the video and note down your solution. Let's have another question. I'm taking question number 41 directly. So here we need to prove this. So whenever you see this square root sign, in order to get rid of square root sign, you need to rationalize. Okay, you need to rationalize. And here, if you see, you have 1 plus cos a. Within square root also, we have 1 plus cos a. So that's why in order to rationalize the inner part, the within part of square root sign, we are going to multiply both numerator and denominator by 1 plus cos a. Why you will understand, see here. Okay, so 1 minus cos a into, so as I said, I'll multiply both numerator and denominator by 1 plus cos a. Okay, now in the denominator, we have 1 plus cos a into 1 plus cos a, which is 1 plus cos a whole square. In the I'm sorry, in the denominator, we have that. And in the numerator, we have 1 minus cos a into 1 plus cos a, which is in the form of a minus b into a plus b, which is a square minus b square. So a is 1, so that's why a square is 1 minus b. b is cos a, so b square is cos a square. Okay, and as I said, this will be 1 plus cos a into 1 plus cos a is 1 plus cos a whole square. Okay, now 1 minus cos a, cos a square a using this formula is how much? It is sine square, isn't it? Okay, now we have square in the numerator, we have square in the denominator as well. So that's why square root of sine square a is sine a and square root of 1 plus cos a whole square is 1 plus cos a. So that's what we wanted to show here. So you may pause the video and note down your solution. Let's have a look at this. So this is also a similar kind of problem. So here, since we have in the denominator 1 plus sine a in the right hand side, so that's why we'll multiply both numerator and denominator by 1 plus sine a. Let's see how, how, how much do we get. So as usual, we get 1 minus sine a into 1 plus sine a, which is in the form of a plus b into a minus b, which is a square minus b square. In the denominator, we have 1 plus sine a into 1 plus sine a is 1 plus sine a whole square. Okay. Now 1 minus sine square a, as per this formula, is again cos square a. Now find the square root. Square root of cos square a will be cos a, and square root of 1 plus sine a whole square will be 1 plus sine a. So that's what we wanted to show here. Okay, so you may pause the video and note down your solution. Let's have another question. I'm taking question number 44. Okay, so this is my left hand side. Now observe here carefully. What am I going to do is I'll find the LCM of denominators. Okay, so LCM will be sin a plus cos a into sin a minus cos a. Okay, now divide this LCM by sin a plus cos a. So this and this gets cancelled. So what is left? Sin a minus cos a. So sin a minus cos a into 1 is sin a minus cos a. Okay. We have plus sign. So that's why I've written plus. Now divide this LCM by sin a minus cos a. So sin a minus cos a, sin a minus cos a gets cancelled. So you get sin a plus cos a. So let's multiply with 1. You get sin a plus cos a. Now here you see that cos a and minus cos a, they will get cancelled. So we have in the numerator sin a plus sin a is 2 sin a, isn't it? And in the denominator, you have a plus b into a minus b, right? Which is a square minus b square, okay? Now, see here, in the numerator, we got what we wanted. But in the denominator, we don't want sin square. So, we will substitute the value sin square a from here using this formula. So, can I write sin square a as 1 minus cos square a? Yes. So now minus cos square a minus cos square a is how much? Minus 2 cos square a, isn't it? So that's why this is what we want, isn't it? So that's why we get our 
right hand side so you may pause the video and again note it down okay so let me take the last question for the day which says prove this okay so without wasting much time so let's see the left hand side so from here we had we want to arrive at cosec theta minus 1 so basically cosec theta is what cosec theta is 1 by sine theta so basically i want sine theta here so for that i need to convert this cot theta isn't it so before that i'll first multiply both numerator and denominator by 1 minus sine theta okay why am i doing that you will definitely understand so you see here carefully so cos theta cot theta into this is kept as it is in the denominator we have 1 plus sine theta into 1 minus sine theta which is a square a plus b into a minus b which gives you a minus a square minus b square okay now 1 minus sine square theta how much is that this is cos theta and see as i said i want sine theta isn't it so that's why i have written cot theta as cos theta by sine theta now see here carefully in this step in the denominator we have cos square theta isn't it so in the numerator also we have cos cos square theta how we have cos theta into cos theta isn't it so how much is that that is cos square theta so this cos square theta and cos square theta will get cancelled so what is left now you have 1 minus sine theta by sine theta is left all right so that's what we have now let's separate the sine theta for 1 and sine theta so you get 1 by sine theta minus sine theta by sine theta which is 1 isn't it now what is 1 by sine theta all of you know that 1 by sine theta is cosec theta so instead of this i'm going to write cosec theta and we have minus 1 so that's what we wanted to show here isn't it so the, you may pause the video and note down your solution so you have got some homeworks okay so you can take any five sums uh, and try by your own understanding okay do not copy from others so with this we close for the day thank you very much